Hello, welcome to library classroom and I'm Miss Caroline and I want to continue about uh, how to take care of a book session the lessons and I have already posted some lessons and uh, showing how you have to uh, touch your books, how you have to remove your books from the shelves, how to take care of them and now I want to make a very fast review on that one and then um, start with the uh, new lesson. I received a lot of um, videos, a lot of uh, pictures and about how you are taking care of your books, how you are removing the books from the shelf. It was uh, it was awesome and really I love that. It means that you all of you, you have learned or you have know how to take care of your precious books. So um, if you remember um, I said if you want to touch your books, your hands should be clean. So if your hand is dirty, it has um, debris on it or uh, some kind of dirt or oils, so you need first to wash it, um, wash them off from your hand because these kind of the oils and the things are causing a damage, a lot of damage to the cover and the pages of the books. So you can use soap and also water to rinse the soap from your hand and after that a towel to uh, dry your hand because you cannot also touch the book with the wet hand and so you have to be careful about the second part is that avoid eating or drinking when you are uh, reading books um, because uh, it's still when you're eating or drinking and you put the book close to the food and the beverages then a spill may happen and there are possibility when you are eating and drinking so you have to be very careful because the spills can stain them stain and damage the books permanently so when you are reading or writing and please uh, don't eat if you are eating please put the book aside and the next part is that you should position your books upright or straight into the shelf like this. Okay, so uh, it should not be lean because again it will be wrapped out of the shape and so you have to position them upright. If you, if you cannot and they are still the lean, you can use some book stoppers or um, to put at the back so they don't want, uh, fall down. In them. Uh, the next part is that you should remove your book from the shelf, from the middle of the book. I mean, this is the spine of the book. I will talk later about different parts of the book. So this is the spine. So you have to take the book from the middle of the spine and then remove it from the shelf. Okay? But before it comes completely out of the shelf, you have to have with the other hand, okay, to hold it from the bottom bottom edge so now it is safe and secure now you can hold it okay so always always hold the bow with the both hands okay not with one hand this is wrong so if you pull the book from the top from here when you are you, you want to remove it from the shelf if you pull it from the top or from the bottom this may cause the book to crack or tear over the time okay the spine of the book can be damaged so please hold it with both hands and and also grab the middle of the spine to remove it from the shelf so we continue with the next session and lesson and uh, which is about the um how to uh, how to take care of our books but uh, i continue with the giving you more uh, information so you should always keep the books out of the direct sunlight because the sun also can damage the jacket and the covers of the book and the color of the jacket and the colors they may fade over the time so you should be very careful you see this book has another cover on it this is called the flap okay this is a cover 
okay on the box this one is doesn't let the sunlight or the dust to damage the book so okay so it has a material that doesn't let the uh, damage happen to the cover and the pages of the book because of the UV light rays from the light and also uh, caused by the you know, damp or humidity or because of the dust collection on the cover. So the next thing, the second is that you should dust your book every month or every two months. You know that the dust may accumulate on the book, be collected on the book and can damage the book over time. So again, you need to take a dry cloth to rub on every part of the book and also the bookshelf to remove the dust from it. Or you need to use a vacuum cleaner and attach a brush to it, to the nozzle of it, so you can move it all around the bookshelf and the books to remove the dust from it. Okay? The next thing is that you need to keep your books out of the reach of the small children so if you have a small kids at home or your brother and sister are smaller than you and do not know how to use a book they cannot uh, appreciate maybe the book so you may be to keep it out of the reach of them uh, because they can draw easily into it or can damage and tear the pages the next point is that you should not write inside your book okay don't write inside your book this is wrong if you do that because you know that especially if you have borrowed the book from somewhere a friend or a library because the writing inside the book cannot be removed easily and they can uh, tear the pages if you force and push your hands so, uh, on, on the page on the page, pages of the book it can make a hole through the pages or it can tear the pages okay and trying to remove the right things even for the library and over the, that person is would be very hard okay so number five is avoid leaning on your book to write you cannot put a paper on the on the book that you have and start writing on it if you do that the pens and the person can leave indentation on the book covers hmm? you put indentation and the marks it marks up the book so um, if you press too hard your hand then they can tear through the paper and also they can mark up the book when pressing your hand too hard, it causes indentation appear on the book cover, on the pages, or it can make a hole and tear through the pages, okay? So you should avoid doing that one. So this is the end of this session, and I hope you have, to, you have made the best use of it. So please answer the question that I have provided at the end of the video. Thank you. See you next time.